St. John Democrats for hosting me this evening, and thanks to all of you for showing up tonight. My name's Eric Sarah. I'm a first-time candidate running for Lake County Recorder, and uh, we're a total grassroots campaign. My wife, Angelica, over there is my campaign manager, and uh, even if I had Mike Bloomberg's budget, I would still pick her because I can't think of anyone better. She's highly intelligent, <laughs> and she always pushes me to be my best. So very lucky to have her. Uh, I don't make uh, a seven-figure income or even a six-figure income, and I'm not bashing anyone that does. That's great if you do. I just think we need to have more representation, more diverse economic representation in county government is all. And that's why I'm running. I'm from the working class and for the working class. My mother is a retail associate, 21 years, still going strong. She's right, right back there, my wife. And my father's a union laborer in the steel industry, 40 years, still going strong. And uh, my parents taught me a lot of values that they instilled in me growing up. Those were the values of education, hard work, sacrifice, and most importantly, integrity. And that's really important to me, integrity. I promise to you, I would rather lose this election than lose my integrity. So tonight, the reason why I'm here is not to ask for your vote. I know it's only March, we still have about another month until early voting starts. What I'm hoping to accomplish tonight is the opportunity to earn your trust and your consideration come spring. A little bit about myself. I attended Purdue University Calumet under the 21st Century Scholars Program, which was initiated by uh, Evan Bayh when he was the governor of our state. And even though this scholarship program paid for most of my uh, education, I was still on the hook for lab fees, books, other cost of living expenses. So basically, I was a full-time student by day and a full-time employee by night. And that was great because it taught me the value of time management. And I was still able to uh, get high marks in school. I won several awards and honors, including being named, uh, being given the honor of giving the student response at commencement. And uh, Evan Bai, who was at this time senator, took notice of these accomplishments. And he asked me to uh, give a presentation speech for him while he was kicking off his campaign as an outstanding example of his uh, 21st Century Scholars Program. Then the next biggest challenge I faced was a couple years later, when I was trying to get my career going, I was diagnosed with cancer, a rare form, uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, predominant lymphocyte, and at this point it had already reached stage three. So I had to undergo several procedures. These included a stem cell transplant, uh, chemotherapy and several surgeries and after I was fully recovered from my stem cell transplant I was able to go back to work and I didn't miss a beat if anything I think I even worked harder because I had something to prove and as a result I was promoted twice within 16 months and my career took off from there and then I decided it was time to go to grad school and uh, I enrolled at DePaul's Kelstead Graduate School of Business and completed my degree in 2018 other attributes that I bring to this position are I'm experienced in managing records and data in highly regulated industries. I'm experienced in compliance in those industries as well, uh, familiar with basic accounting and auditing functions. I also know how to do uh, create dashboards and databases. Uh, Self-taught with SQL, learned how to do that by uh, reverse engineering. I also have experience serving on and chairing several boards. And uh, also I'm experienced in uh, implementing innovation and bringing new ideas to the table. Uh, some examples of those innovations are uh, helping my organization save $1.8 million and also saving thousands of hours of work for my department. The best part about this was we didn't, by saving time and money, we didn't have to get rid of jobs. Instead, we were able to allocate that time to more impactful programs. And that's the kind of spirit that I want to bring to county government. So I hope I could uh, have your consideration this spring. The name's Eric Sarah from the Working Class.
class, for the working class. Thank you for your time.